this video, I'll go through how you can configure the call forwarding settings of your Sonatel phone number. To start with, sign in at app.sonatel.com and then move to the phone numbers page, which you find in the company settings. It's usually shown automatically when you sign in, but if you are not directed to that page automatically, you can click on the settings icon in the bottom left corner of the screen and select the phone numbers option. This will bring you to this page where you see a list of all the Sonatel phone numbers that you subscribe to. To be able to configure a phone number, you simply click on it and this reveals the menu for the phone number. Here you can click on the call forwarding option to see the current call forwarding settings for this US New York phone number that we are configuring the call forwarding settings for. We can see that any incoming calls to this phone number will be sent to a user in our company, a user named Ray Smith, which is the test user that I created when I set up this test account. This is the only user in the account, but if we invite more people, they will appear in this list. Now, every user has their own call forwarding settings. So every user that gets call via a phone number uh, can define if they want calls to go to their mobile phone, if they want it to ring for a certain time, if they want to have calls going onwards to their voicemail, etc., etc. So all that is configured in the user's call forwarding settings. And if we would like to see the call forwarding settings of Ray, we could just click here and get to that view. But in this video, we're only showing how you configure the phone number on a top level. So we'll leave that to another video to see how you can configure the user's call forwarding settings. Now, the other option here in the list is beyond user is a phone number. So here we have the option of simply entering a phone number. And I recommend that you enter it in the international format, starting with plus and a country code and then the area code and the other numbers. Now, as you can see here, we're getting a price per minute here, and this is for the call forwarding. The incoming call is free, but the call forwarding creates an additional call leg out to the phone number that you'd like to have the calls forwarded to. So uh, if we enter here another number, like a Swedish number, um, and we start entering the number here, we can see that it's 1.6 cents per minute. So. User is one option. Phone number is another option for call forwarding, but we also have voice apps. Voice apps are interactive voice response services, such as for sales, press one, for support, press two, or whatever you want these apps to say. So creating a professional sound to your business. Now, this is a business feature which comes at an additional cost. So if you want one of these business features, uh, there's an additional cost per month, but this includes a lot of free calls as well. So in the end, uh, there's no real additional cost uh, for having these features as long as you have those call volumes and use up those, those free calls included. Uh, if you don't want to forward the calls to a user or phone number or voice app, you can also forward them to a so-called SIP address. This is more for advanced users and means that you can forward the internet telephony call across the internet to some IP address somewhere. This can be a, a physical phone or a system re receiving these calls, etc. Et but this is only for advanced users. Now, one more point here when it comes to forwarding calls to a phone number. There's one option down here that you can see that allows us to select what we should show to the person answering the call. Should we show the caller's number, the person that originally called this US number, or should we show our New York number so that we know that someone is calling via our New York number? Usually the best thing is to just see who is calling rather than what they called. But you have this option if you need it. So this basically defines the options that you have at your disposal for configuring the call forwarding settings for your Sonatel phone number.